Welcome back to Inside Look, an Inside Ambition segment where we take a deep dive into something happening here at Drexel. I'm Alexander George. Happy finals week! Even though it's technically, we eke 10. The Ides of March creep their ugly head around this year to remind us that we have been social distancing and wearing masks, or at least you should have been, for the last yee year. Okay, I'm done now. Hello, can someone please get me my shamrock shake? Mid-March means different things to different people. Some of us look back and realize we're almost a quarter of the way through the new year. Others are reminded that the sun exists and days aren't always dark and cold. But here in University City, mid-March means the return of Erin Express or EE. All aboard! Toot toot! For those of you living under a shamrock, today we're going to talk about Erin Express, a bar crawl that runs two weekends in March every year leading up to St. Patrick's Day. It's sort of a drinking Olympics and a send off to spring break all in one. For us Drexel students, EE is a gift as there is not nearly enough time to squeeze in all day intoxication with Drexel's academic calendar. With St. Patty's Day around the corner and the one year anniversary of the global papaya, now let's take an inside look. Last year in 2020, all you Drexel students may recall being sent home on March 13th for our extended spring break or what the rest of the world called two weeks to flatten the curve. <sighs> that was like, what, 50 weeks ago? On today's segment, we're going to cover three main points. First, the history of Erin Express. Second, what happened during EE last year, right as Lady Coronavirus entered the US. And third, wait, this can't be right. We're going to talk about EE this year? Funny enough, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on what is believed to be the death date of the Irish St. Patrick. In fact, up until the late 1920s, pubs in Ireland would close for the observation of this holiday. But here in Philly, we have been having St. Patrick's Day parades since 1771. And in the same way that Wawa is a Philadelphia staple and somewhere you go when you're drunk, so is EE. To put it simply, wearing your one green shirt and drinking for about 12 hours, if you can make it that long, while slurring in your best Irish accent is a religion of its own. But St. Patrick didn't turn water into beer for you to have an excuse for your alcoholism. I mean, have you seen It's Always Sunny? Patty's Pub is a Philly staple. By the way, I'm like such a Charlie, you know, because of all the mental breakdowns. EE means no cover charges and a free yellow school bus Uber that runs for five and a half hours. The tradition began with Kavanaugh's in U City and Smoky Pete's 40 years ago. That's almost as old as the oldest person to ever participate in EE. About 17 lucky bars participate every year, and the day culminates in a massive sea of green at the 23rd Street Armory, a short walk from Drexel's campus. After a long, blurry day, beer-soaked 20-something-year-olds and the occasional underage tween in a normal world would have the privilege of trekking back to their respective dormitories and apartments with a sense of pride that they celebrated good old St. Patty. And then they would do it again the next weekend. Last year, EE e. was chugging along on its usual route on March 7th, like absolutely no doom was impending and the world wasn't about to completely shut down. Spoiler alert, it did. But no matter how much beer was coursing through its little caboose, Erin Express was the little engine that couldn't. That's funny because it's actually a bus. Erin Express is the magic school bus in full form. Just think, it's clear Miss Frizzle was on something and have you seen that hair? Of course, she's a leprechaun. Last year, the first weekend of EE was well before the mask mandate and also before many cases of the virus were confirmed. After all, there weren't even tests available to confirm it back then. Remember? No one knew anything. The second weekend, some bars stayed open for EE, but the buses and the official bar crawl were canceled 48 hours before. It's crazy to think that not even one week beforehand, 
EE had been operating in full swing. That very same weekend, the 2020 St. Patrick's Day Parade was also canceled amid the threat of a global pajama. And apparently, some Drexel students were unaware that EE had been canceled amid coronavirus concerns as they decided to gather in groups for that second weekend anyway. But who can blame them, right? We all just have so much going on. It's so hard to stay on top of the news. And Inside Ambition didn't exist yet, so how could students be kept up to date? Praise be that testing was not yet accessible, because otherwise Drexel might have made national headlines for all the COVID y'all were spreading. This weekend was the beginning of a long-standing frustration with college students over a lack of empathy toward the Penguin. Not only in the city and on our campus, but across the country. Recently, the New York Times reported a large gathering that turned into a melee of 800 people near the University of Colorado Boulder on the evening of March 6th left multiple students bleeding and tear gassed. The gathering was informal and consisted of mostly young people, many of whom were not masked nor socially distant. It's too soon to tell, but there are early reports of the gathering being a COVID super spreader event as well. Yikes. And although EE was officially canceled this year, many college students, including Dragons, have gone ahead and celebrated the holiday as if nothing was wrong again. All you people walking around campus in groups decked out in your green EE attire ain't slick. Oh, and you don't look as cute and Kelly green as you think you do. Sorry, honey. I mean, you know it's bad when President Fry has to send out an email with the subject line, avoid St. Patrick's Day celebrations this year. Did you really need a reminder? And although vaccine rollout, along with other factors like the change in weather, have decreased the amount of daily cases in Philadelphia, it is still pertinent to avoid gathering in large groups. Our West Philadelphia communities have been hit the hardest by COVID, which is why the Black Doctors Consortium has made an effort to get people in relevant zip codes their vaccines. Until the process is complete and we get the green light to gather again, please, for the love of St. Patrick, stay home. Now we want to hear from you. What are you doing in a COVID safe manner? to celebrate the patron saint of Ireland this year. And why are you celebrating him? Are you even Irish? And as always, to stay up to date with all of our content, make sure to follow our Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.